All right, people, I am back. Yes, I am back. I apologize for being gone so long. Lots of things happened. Life was crazy. And I will tell you all about that. But here, it's time for card review. All right, people. So things are a little bit different since uh, before my break. Uh, card review is now twice a week. Actually, I think it started off twice a week and then I dropped it down to once a week, but now it's back to twice a week. So, on Mondays and Wednesdays, you get card review. Tuesday and Thursdays, the under commentary. Friday, of course, fake card Friday. There is no more daily Rhyme and Why. Rhyme and Why will be a live stream on Saturdays, and you will be still getting your daily duels, three single, two tag. So, that's pretty much the breakdown, real quick, about how things are going to go on the channel. So, if you're new to the channel and you're like, well, I'm going to subscribe to this uh, Evil Mastery guy, he hasn't uploaded in like over a month almost two months actually, then uh, welcome. And for those of you who have been supporting me all this time, thank you guys for all the support. I'm ready to go. So, card review. There is no other card that I have to start off with than this broke piece of crap. Yes, I know. <laughs> this whole entire time I've been gone. Don't think I haven't been paying attention to what's going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. This is solemn notice, people. Oh my god. Stop with the solemn cards. Alright. If you play this game you give, if you've been playing it a a while. You know, Solemn, if it's Solemn in its name, it's probably going to do something stupid and break the game. And Solemn Notice is no different. So, first we have Solemn Judgment. You know, Solemn Judgment, you pay half your life points, you pretty much negate anything, counter trap. And, uh, you know, people played at three, and then it got limited, and now it's banned. And then we had Solemn Warning, where, you know, you pay 2,000 life points to stop a summon, you know. And, uh, people played at three. Then it went to two. Now it is at one. So you can really see if it has Solomon in its name, it's probably pretty broken. Broke, broken, broken. Oh my God, broken. Um, what's that solemn other card? Solemn authority or something like that? I forgot the other one where you pay three thousand life points, but you can't activate it unless it's the only set card that you have. And you know it was played a little bit in Necro, it was a little bit in Shadows, but you know it never went anywhere because you know it had to be your only set card. You know the three thousand life points. I mean, that's a lot, but it's doable, but, you know, that, it's the whole almost set card. That was the thing that put that card, you know, in that card's coffin. But this card, Solemn Notice, let's go ahead and look at this. So, it is a tra uh, counter trap card. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> when a monster, monsters, won't be special summoned, or a monster effect is activated, you can pay 1,500 life points, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. That's broken. <laughs> that is that is broken. That is broken. So essentially, what you're saying is it's either a black one because it stops uh, inherent special summons. And I know, yes, I do know about the uh, black horn of heaven or rally change before you guys go and say, you know, you master, you know, black horn was actually changed. You know, it stops one inherent summon now. Yes, I know, I know. But this doesn't. This stops the whole pendulum summon. So if your opponent goes pendulum summon four monsters. Solemn notice, <laughs> you know, or it's a divine wrath. So it's a counter trap that when a uh, monster effect is activated, doesn't matter. Field, hand, graveyard, whatever. You pay 1500 life points, which is chump change with the power that this card dishes out. And you go ahead and destroy that card. Yeah. So, of course, we had the Solemn Brigade. You know, we had Solemn Judgment at three, and then we had Solemn Warning at three, and then, you know, Judgment went down to one, and Warning went down to two, and there was a Solemn Brigade. And then, you know, Solemn Warning went down to one, and Judgment got banned, and, you know, uh, pretty much everybody and their mother, to an extent, plays, you know, Solemn Warning. It's probably one of the best trap cards in the game, but why not go ahead and bring the new Solemn Brigade back by playing a Warning and three Notice? What? 1,500 light points? With that, uh, with that 2,000, I know, it's a lot, you know, 45, and then that 2,000, so 65, yeah, I mean, 6,500, but it doesn't matter, because in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it doesn't matter if I beat you with 8,000 life points or 1 life points, because then at the end of the day, I win. So, <laughs> life points really don't mean shit, as we saw from Solemn Judgment, from Soul Charge, you know, from Upstock Goblin, you know, life points don't mean shit, it's all about resources, and what better way of being up on resources than stunning the hell out of your opponent, and winning the duel, you know? It doesn't matter if I keep on paying uh, 1,500 life points for Solemn Notice, because as long as you don't get to summon any monsters, and I get to keep on summoning monsters and poking you to death, then I win, and it's simple as that. So, uh, my opinion about Solemn Notice? Limited. 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 Limit. This card should be limited yesterday. Like, that's how ridiculous this card is. And when I first saw it, my jaw dropped, and I was like, oh my god, Konami, you know? And it is coming out in uh, Breaker of Meta, I mean Breaker of Shadows, 
And Yu-Gi-Oh! will be, of course, turned up on it, upon its head, just like how it's a much different game than it was, you know, before the ban list, you know? But solemn notice, this card needs to be limited. You know, it's limited. Limited, you know. Uh, you know, people are like, eh, maybe can we see I might No, no, limited. You know, 1,500 life points to stop an inherent summon, which at, you know, uh, there was actually one point where, you know, inherent summons were so powerful that we actually think about playing finger at Blackhorn. And any monster effect, you know, it doesn't even matter if you didn't summon the monster inherently. You know, it doesn't matter if you ritual summoned it or, you know, fusion summoned it. You didn't summon it inherently, so I can't hit the monster summon with Solemn Notice. You're probably going to activate its effect, and as soon as you do, I'm going to notice you anyway. So, not only is it just, you know, a blatantly wide black horn, great horn, whatever, but that Divine Wrath too, you know? And, you know, don't think that during this time that I've been away that I just haven't touched Yu Gi Oh! I play a couple duels, and there's been a handful of duels where I've noticed the hell out of my opponent, and they've noticed the hell out of me, where it's just like summon, notice, summon, notice, summon, notice, summon, warning. Oh, I lose, because I literally summon nothing. And I've done the same thing on my opponent. This card's too broken to be at three. And yes, broken. This card is broken. It is up there. Uh, I am in agreement that, you know, there's just too many traps in comparison to uh, the hate, and the ratio is not there, you know? And if there's going to be any trap cards that should be at multiples, it's definitely not this card, you know? When you sit there and you're like, bottomless, definitely, yeah, bottomless at one. Notice? No, no, notice is fine at three. Like, what? No. And I'm not saying that bottomless should go up either, you know? But I definitely think that notice deserves to be in that group of powerful trap cards that is definitely deserving of being at one, you know? Judgment? Remain banned, you know? Judgment is not a fair card. There's a ton of people that are like, oh, judgment should come back because, you know, we should have a card in the game that can stop everything. No. No, we shouldn't have a card that can stop everything. Oh, you gotta pay half your life points? Oh my god, it's 4,000. Alright, let's get this straight. Half your life points, that could be anything, you know? We, of course, know from A Hero Lives. Yeah, that could, and early in the game, that's probably 4,000 life points. But later in the game? Shit, when I have, like, what, 400 life points left? Yeah, oh, let me go ahead and pay 200 life points to negate anything, you know? And people forget, you know? They're like, oh, well, I need that defensive, uh, you know... Solemn Judgment, so when my back is down and um, my back is against the wall, I can play that Solemn Judgment and, you know, come back into the duel. Yeah, but you can also use it while you're being aggressive, too. There's been a handful of times where, you know, I was in a winning situation and I just had that judgment just to make sure and confirm my victory. So, Judgment's not a healthy card. It's not even a fair card. We know that. You know, we've tried warning that multiples. We've tried warning that too. Still busted. And at one, you know, people even argue that it's still too busted and that it should be banned. So, you know, to argue warning up even more, it would just in the same boat. I feel like notice is in the same boat, you know. Judgment ban, warning at one, notice at one. You know, you have two, two, that's it. You have some warning, some notice, both of them. You know, and I hope that, you know, OCG will, you know, proceed to limit this card. And when it comes out... And the uh, TCG, you know, depending on what rarity it is, I would not be surprised if Komami puts it as a secret rare, and this card can easily shoot for, you know, you know, 70 plus, maybe even $100, and need three of them, of course, because, you know, we've won. You know, if you haven't learned that, you know, how busted running Triple Solemn Judgment is, and how busted running Triple Solemn Warning is, I think at this time, you know, that, you know, Triple Solemn Notice will be busted. And... Hopefully we go ahead and know to limit this card. You know, it is definitely limit worthy. And, you know, if your opponent hits with you with it once when it's limited, I mean, that sucks. But, hey, at least you don't have to deal with one. Because yeah. it's bad enough that, you know, we have Solemn Warning getting you. And there's not much you could do about it. But Solemn Notice 2 and multiples of it, it's just too ridiculous. Way too ridiculous. But this isn't the only broken card that we are getting and. Breakers of Meta, Breakers of Shadows. I know, I know, like I said, don't think that I haven't been paying to the Yu-Gi-Oh! news. Yes, I know, Infinity's coming out, kill me now. You know, it's just another one of those things that helped me uh, influence the fact that I just really don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life like that anymore, you know? So, yeah, that helps. And, uh, of course, there's another uh, card on the other side of the spectrum that we, of course, be looking at in card review uh, on Wednesday. So, tell me what you guys think about Solemn Notice, and tell me your experiences with Solemn Notice so far. You know, when you play on uh, Dev Pro or DN or whatever, do you guys just get Solemn Notice out the ass and not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and lose? Or do you also do the same thing to your opponent? Because I know it is not fun. It is not fun at all. You know, the stun is just too real. So, definitely. Limit Solemn Notice yesterday, people. So, 
I hope that you guys are excited for me being back. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Give the video a like, spread it. And uh, hopefully I will be able to continue to entertain you guys. Like I said, the uh, amount of videos that I'm putting up is not as much. And hopefully I can keep things fresh and uh, entertaining for you guys. So part of you is simple as sitting here and giving my opinion about a card. I can do that. So uh, thank you guys for waiting all this time for my return. Thank you guys for being so patient. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me. And, you know, remaining subscribed. So I will see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.